said Get one swell today Diamond head My sister said Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, we're gonna discuss and uh, explore what about the Vietnam garments and textile industry. So if you guys are interested into learning more uh, and sourcing products in Vietnam, such as t-shirt, uh, pants, uh, a lot of textile that can be also uh, for furniture uh, industry, this is the kind of fair that you can go. So you see on my back, the V, TG, that is the Vietnam and textile uh, fair. So maybe the leading uh, fair in Vietnam about garments and such products. I'm today with my buddy Vin. We're gonna go directly to that fair and discover some of the products that you can manufacture in Vietnam to export worldwide. So regarding to that fair, following a three-year hiatus, the VTG 2022 is having a face-to-face -face exhibition in the Saigon Exhibition and Convention Center in Ho Chi Minh City with 200 plus leading brands and exhibitors from 14 countries and regions. Together with an online event too for foreign buyers who cannot attend to the fair. Eyeing the Vietnam's infinity market potential, textile and garment industry especially, the VTG Fair gathers the global leading manufacturers to showcase the innovative supply chain, top-end technology and future development trends in one and unique place. So actually, garment and textile type of products are one of the main products that you can find in Vietnam if you want to discover other product categories that are good to be produced in Vietnam, you can check the video that we recorded a couple of weeks ago. And then today is going to be dedicated about that fair where you can find a lot of products, a lot of local manufacturers from all Asia that came to Vietnam. Either you can directly find trading companies sourcing companies as well as directly connecting to the manufacturers, big scale or even small scales factory that are here in Asia. To give you the big picture about the textile and garment industry, the COVID-19 pandemic has been taking a toll on the garments and textile industry. But in 2022, thanks to the strong recovery of the export market, it helped the revenue and profit of textile companies to have a positive growth. The textile and garment industry is a labor intensive industry in which Vietnam has a young population structure, high skill level to perform difficult tasks and the Vietnamese workforce are able to learn new things with an average salary for the textile industry that is among the lowest in the world and much more lower compared to China. It is expected that in 2023, the textile and garment market will return to the sixth hole before the COVID-19 epidemic. With the EVFTA and the CPTPP agreement signed, it actively helped the Vietnam textile and garment export activities with big exporting markets such as the US and Europe. What's your thoughts about textile and garment industry in Vietnam? Yeah, I think uh, textiles is one of the biggest industries in Vietnam. So we're gonna check out some of the suppliers and meet them and see if we can uh, help them out. Yeah, okay. If you want to learn more about this, go check below in the description. You will have some link, some resources, as well as our direct contact so you can drop us your inquiries what's the type of product you are looking for in vietnam what's your moq because this is very important as well as the country that you want to export your products we can give you uh, the big picture about how does it work in vietnam as well as helping you to connect directly to trustworthy and reliable manufacturers let's get into it besides those manufacturers and factories providing and products that you can directly buy with the design with MOQ from 100 up to 1000 
pieces, there were also a lot of providers directly selling fabrics. Thanks to its long history of producing textile and garment, Vietnam has built a strong supply chain and a wild manufacturing base. This included both textile raw materials and finished products. Vietnam's textile and garment industry has not been active in generating a domestic source for high quality components for meeting the requirements of production of export, but it still depends on imported components. Vietnam's textile and garment industry currently provides cotton materials, synthetic fibers, cotton yarn, denim, wool, silk and linen that is either made in Vietnam or imported from neighboring countries such as India, China, Indonesia, Korea and Thailand. Now another product category related to textile and garment is actually shoes and Vietnam is one of the world largest footwear producer. In fact, the country is responsible of over 10% of all footwear exports in the world. Several of the world's most well-known shoes manufacturers such as Nike, Adidas and Puma use Vietnamese factories to make their products. If you are an importer from the US or Europe, there is a lot to gain from taking advantage of the talent and expertise this region has to offer. Now we move to another product category that is related to textile and garment and it is actually bag. Moving forward into the 21st century, the bag industry of Vietnam has implemented a current and up-to-date methods of production and assembly, adopted from the cultural traditions of artisan technical mastery. The modernization of the bag industry in Vietnam began by employing sophisticated manufacturing processes to create efficiencies with the extra benefit of keeping costs low. To be competitive, the international bag making industry companies within Vietnam employ various modern bag making materials, parts and processes including the use of high quality linen, canvas, leather, bulletproof materials, swivel, wilf and many more. Now an interesting thing is that during that day there were a second fair happening in the exhibition center. It was the VPP 2022, which means the Vietnam Print Pack that provides the latest technologies, equipments and products in the printing and packaging industry. During that exposition, there were a lot of printing machinery and accessories, inks, printing materials and supplements, knife cutting disc, scorers, packaging machinery, raw materials and software systems dedicated for the printing and packaging industry. Because of the impact after the pandemic and the demands from customers are getting higher, e-commerce companies prefer lightweight and flexible packaging solutions to reduce the shipping costs. The growing preference for online shopping for daily fresh food, FMCG products, electronic and clothing are expected to drive the growth of the plastic packaging industry. With the awareness of consumers about environmental matters, there is a new trend that was in that fair about refillable parent packaging, bulk dispenser refilling, returnable and reusable packaging, antimicrobial packaging and bio plastics. As the technical requirements for the printing is getting higher, Vietnam starting to apply more advanced techniques to their printing work and the VPP this year has showcased a lot of advanced technology catered to the printing and packaging industries such as digital press, laminating private label printing machines, UV printers, packaging machinery and other types of material. Now regarding to the origin of companies that attend to that fair, there were obviously 
some Vietnamese companies, but we observed that there were lots of foreign companies from China, Taiwan, Japan, and even India. Actually, Vietnamese and Indian are geared up to grow in textile and apparel business and for that both countries are supporting each other and also exploring areas for collective growth. India has been a supplier of materials for apparel and textile companies in Vietnam providing imported materials to Vietnam but that's not only that and there were further enough opportunities for Indian companies to tap the Vietnamese market. Regarding the other companies, Taiwanese enterprise have been increasingly investing in Vietnam's garment and textile and footwear industries in the recent years to take an advantage of the opportunities offered by the free trade agreements that was signed a few years earlier. Technically, they have been investing in a country's southern key economic regions with Ho Chi Minh City and the provinces of Binh Nhung and Dong Nai due to the market-related advantages and supporting industries. And actually Wang Wen Yun, the chairman of Taiwan Chinese National Federation of Industry, say that Vietnam is an investment destination Taiwan targets and its development strategy and it wants to invest in garments, textile, footwear and supporting industries. Now about China, garment and textile export turnover posted a negative growth with the export turnover to the US and European markets that were down respectively. It was caused by trade barriers used by many countries on garment and textile products imported from China. And this will urge Chinese garment and textile companies to switch investments to Vietnam in order to take an advantage of the benefits and market gap that the free trade agreements brought to Vietnam. Manufacturing regions such as Dong Nai, Binh Nhung, Long Tan, Long An have had huge investments from garment and textile companies of China South Korea, Taiwan, Japan, who are relocating part of their productions toward Vietnam. Now, one of the observations we made during that fair is also that the machinery, AI, and modern equipment were really here in this exhibition, the VTG. As the workforce grows and is scared, the production costs, adopting an advanced technology and improving the localization ratio of materials and accessories are textile and garment enterprise best chance to reduce labor, raise product quality and protect the environment. Many software companies are involved in Vietnam's manufacturing industry by providing softwares that allow the business firm to take control and keep track of everything going on in the factory and on the manufacturer plants so that way they can improve their production capacity and efficiency. The textile and garment industry however faces challenges like a lack of local materials and accessories and an obsolete technology. This requires investment and renovation to welcome orders redirected from China and meet tax exemption and reduction condition from the different free trade agreements. To ensure a sustainable development, the Vietnamese government keeps encouraging and supporting companies' machinery and equipment upgrade, keep improving the R&D and the training of human resources to facilitate the technology adoption. Among all those new brands bringing R&D and innovation to the textile and garment industry, we pointed ZSK and Nantex that introduced a high-definition embroidery machine. Xiamen Xingquang Lo showcases the automatic and high-flexibility circular igniting 
machines and the provider named TAC TAK introduced a multifunctional cleansing solutions including a dry cleaning, packaging, fabric straight tightening and uniforms. Meanwhile, fabric, thread and yarn brands from South Korea, India and Taiwan were present at those exhibitions and they brought a lot of comprehensive solutions for the entire supply chain of the textile and garment industry. Along with the strong growth momentum of Vietnam's textile and garment sector, this exhibition, the VTG as well as the VTATEX are the two main exhibitions that you should attend if you are considering sourcing products in Vietnam to manufacture here and export worldwide. Okay, so here we are, uh, the end of the expo. It was pretty interesting, a lot of manufacturers, uh, but not only from Vietnam. Uh, what was your thought, Vin, about uh, that fair? Yeah, pretty impressive. A lot from India, China too, and lots of machinery, sewing factories and all that. So yeah, very good contact that we've been uh, doing. Uh, some local manufacturers, but also Indian, uh, Taiwanese, a lot of Chinese companies as, as well here. So it shows that, of course, there is a lot of interest into jumping into manufacturing and making products in Vietnam. But still, you see the competition of all uh, the neighboring countries that are coming to such a fair. So if you guys want to learn about sourcing and manufacturing in Vietnam, you should definitely go to such fairs that are happening in uh, all Southeast Asia. And as well, don't hesitate to reach us out if you have any inquiries into manufacturing and making textile and garment products in Vietnam. If you enjoy the video, leave us a thumbs up. Let us know your thoughts below as well in the comments section. And I will see you in the next video. See you next time. Thanks, bye. Down and I'ma get it right. Down sight like.